It's Doug, Marianne, and also we got Michelle here. How are you, Michelle? I'm doing great. Thanks. How are you guys today? It's nice and beautiful and sunny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we need we next want week, that. So. Yes, we do. All right. Yeah, we well, got it's fair time, on. so that means the fun goes on. And when does everything get going? Well, Monday is our opening day. We have our gates open to officially at three, but um, you, our harness racing starts at 1 p.m. So if you get in there for the harness racing, there's no admission into the fairgrounds. So that's you, the early bird deal. That's nice. Yeah. 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 Early bird deal. And speaking of birds and animals, a ton of animals at this fair every year, right? Yes. We have our big animals down below at the barns. And then we have our little pocket pets up on the hill here uh, by the Vista Gate. So there's a good variety of animals. And there's something for everyone, too. It's not just the animals we talk about. There's going to be rides, I imagine. There are some rides going to be happening up at the top midway. We are supposed to have 15 rides. Um, five of them are supposed to be the bigger ride. So we're hoping that everyone's happy with what comes. So we have mm -hmm. Lisco Family Amusements from Lowellville is our ride company. So local company. Well, we have the games, the rides, and we also have the food. But I'll tell you what, a lot of entertainment. You got entertainment pretty much every yeah. night at the grandstand, don't you? Yes. Monday night we have our antique truck and tractor pool which is free grandstand entertainment so if you come monday you can stay for the harness racing and then stay for the uh, antique tractor pools after our opening ceremonies um the opening ceremonies starts at six and we do invite some ohio and county dignitaries so we'll be excited to see who all shows up for that and then um tuesday night we have our Bike nights awards happen on the infield. It's not really in the grandstand. And then the horse pool, a draft horse pool in the evening at 730. You want me to go every night or you want to just? Sure. sure. Why not? Okay, I'll do grandstand and entertainment. And then um, Wednesday we have our rodeo. Okay. Our mutton busting starts at six. That's when the little guys and girls get on the sheep and ride around uh, for <laughs> mini rodeo. It's cute. It sounds uh, cute. Yeah, they try to stay on the sheep as the then the big guys come out on the bulls. So I would pay money to see Doug. Try, you know. Oh, he should come down and try it. I'll <laughs> send you some tickets. <laughs> we do have usually we have some good, uh, you know, crowd involvement with the rodeo. Okay. So that'd be great. <laughs> oh, I'd love it. I'd love that big guy. <laughs> yeah, and then um. Like sheep. <laughs> Thursday, we have a new event this year. It's a rough truck event. I'm not okay. sure exactly. I know Derby Dog is putting that on along with our demo Derby on Sunday night. So I'm excited to see that's another free uh, evening in the grandstand. The rodeo is $5 for seating. So you could have reserved seating in the grandstand side or the bleacher side. And then Friday and Saturday, we have our truck and tractor pools. And Sunday, we have 1 p.m. in the afternoon, a combine derby. And then at 6.30, our demo derby. So, and the combine derby is free, but the demo derby does cost $10 a seat also. So, pretty reasonable, I think, you know. I think so. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Michelle, what do you look forward to the most when it comes to the food there at the fair? Oh, just to see who, what new food is coming every year. So, oh. we have some different food trucks this year coming so there's a cajun one coming we oh. have molnars is coming this year we have a lot of our other you know our long time friends mm -hmm. of the fair sure, sure. vendors coming but we do have some new ones um i would say our ice cream barn that's a highlight of my fair you know week we have a our dairy boosters they have the ice cream barn down at the by the barns with the animals and they always have lines so i try to <laughs> get there when it's a break but it's a great uh, homemade ice cream it's what's better oh it was an ice cream <laughs> shed but because it was so popular it's now an ice it's cream barn, barn. <laughs> barn yeah you know it must be popular it's popular all right it's it's really right on the bend there 
you're heading into Lisbon, at least from my house, right there in the corner. Easy enough to find in parking. There's additional parking if you need it, right? Yeah, most of the parking is going to be off of our Saltwell Road entrance. You're going to come if you're off of 45 or 164. Mm -hmm. You'll get salt. Well, 164, you'll have to still come around because it's blocked off at the 164. So if you're coming from Columbiana, you still have to go through town and there'll be signs showing you which way to go. But you'll go down Saltwell Road off of 45 and we have shuttle tractors with wagons on them that will haul you in if you need a help, you know, coming in from the parking lot. And then there's most of the close parking inside that we have reserved parking and tagged parking for that. But it, the front gate off of Lee Avenue is where the handicap parking is. So if you need that, you would enter off of Lee Avenue. It's called gate. I noticed gate. online that you had uh, posted you were needing drivers for the shuttles. Do you need more or you have enough? We do need some more help. We have some day hours. I think it I was 2 to 5 and 8 to 11. We still need some help for those inside when those are to drive the tractors. So, yeah. You know, we're still looking for some help. It's a long, you know, riding those tractors that's a that's it's a lot to ask of people to do too long of shifts. So, it's nice to have some volunteers that would help with us. Yeah, but when you're sitting on a tractor, you're like the king of the fair, though. I would you are. Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a good time there. It's got to be fun. Who, you know, <laughs> driving it as long as you're capable. I mean, I don't know, Doug, are you offering to drive the tractor? Um, Is that why, you know, you seem mm -hmm. interested? We, I, I think I, that would be a hard pass for Doug. Maybe a lawnmower tractor I could do, <laughs> not a regular yeah. big tractor. That's a responsibility there. We Taking can, care of people, getting them in and out. So get on over, going on Monday through, so, so it's seven days of fun. Yes, yes, seven Thanks, days. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. We'll see you there at Columbiana County Fair. Yep, wheel on down. <laughs>